Learning Experience 7. English Level A2. Inventions and Technology in Our Lives. Activity 1. Peruvian Inventors. Let's listen and read. Listen to and read the article. Innovators see problems as opportunities to create new possible solutions. This article presents Guiding and Victor, two innovators who want to make a difference. They see a problem and they want to do something about it. We interviewed them and here is what they said about themselves and their innovations. Karin Avensur. Readers want to know more about you. Where are you from and what is your occupation? I am Peruvian. My father is a fisherman and I learned his craft. I am a fisherwoman. We fish in Fukusana. Also, I studied in Agraria University in Lima. So I am a fishing engineer. What problem do you see in your community? It is unusual for women to be fisherwomen. So men go to the sea and fish while their wives wait at home and take care of their children. Most fishermen are not rich. They make a living out of their craft and sometimes they need to fish as much as possible. At my university, I learned that fish need time to grow. You described two problems, women who do not fish and uncontrolled fishing. How do you solve these two problems? I created fishing nets that do not trap small fish and I demonstrated this net to the fishermen in Pukusana. The small fish are able to live, grow bigger and spawn more fish. So now we do responsible fishing. Also, I decided to start a business called Karin Eco Fish. I employ the women of the area to clean and slice the fish I catch. As a result, the fish are fresh and ready to cook. We can't charge more for the fish that are prepared this way. What is your dream? I would like to start an association of Peruvian fisherwomen. Victor Barraza. Victor, what can you tell us about yourself? I am a Peruvian architect. I live in Lima, but I am from Tingo Maria. I usually visit my parents in Tingo Maria, and I love going out into the fields around Tingo Maria. It is a beautiful place. What problem do you see in your community? In this time of the pandemic, people want to avoid using public transportation. So a lot of people are riding their bikes as everyday transportation. I really wanted a bike, but it was too expensive. How did you solve that problem? As an architect, I researched information about bamboo. Bamboo grows all over Peru. To me, it is like giant grass. In one of my visits to my parents in Tingo Maria, I made a bike for myself. I noticed bamboo is a great material for bikes. Not only is it abundant, it is light, eco-friendly, and inexpensive. Is it difficult to make a bamboo bike? It is really hard. It takes three to four days to make one bike. But I'm not alone. A group of friends and I started a business called Janko Eco Bikes. We also teach other people to make these special bikes and we employ people to grow bamboo in Tingo Maria. What is your dream? To make more bamboo bikes and to make bamboo houses.